Hey guys, welcome to Isaiah's Reviews, and today we'll be reviewing the Tiswall M3 Electric Spin Scrubber Brush System. You get four replaceable brush heads with this thing, which you can actively buy replacement brush heads right now. I'll leave links to this scrubber and the accessories link too. Right now it's discounted down with an additional 20% off. So it's one heck of a deal going on for the thing and the thing's powerful. We'll get into that one hour fast charge uh, for this thing too. And the brushes are actually meant to not shed. I put them through the ringer up in the corners of the shower and stuff and really got in there good. Uh, I was able to put a lot of pressure down and uh, didn't torque that thing out. So uh, we're getting all the specs in a little bit but the heads adjustable 28 degree 57 degree and 84 degree uh, you can uh, go to 40.9 inches with the extension pole attachment or down to 26 so if you want to take a small brush head and actually clean up around uh, your oven or something like that or in the oven whatever you want to do the sink all that good stuff uh, you got the capabilities to do that another cool thing about this is the rpms you do get a range of up to 300 rpms on max speed you get two speed functions one's a little slower than that like uh, about 250 or so i believe that is 250 rpms and then 300 rpms on the fastest setting uh, the heads are easy to pop on and off no problems uh, the head will articulate like so you can get that wet right below the button there where you would push to articulate the head and there's where we're going to dislocate that guy and pop it off take out the extension in the middle and we can make that a 26 inch uh, wand for uh, more intimate uh, uh, stuff that might be right for your face like we talked about uh, this is the heck hole over here in the corner where all the bottles sit it looks pretty nasty so I thought that was prime time to tackle that bad boy I keep everything else pretty clean but that gets the most yuck uh, the scrubbing bubbles uh, foaming bleach stuff is a uh, great I highly recommend it if you got some tile you need clean we're gonna spray spray this stuff all over the place and we're gonna use this big flathead attachment first to kind of get that seat and we're gonna get some of the tile walls around it and whatnot and uh, you can see this thing in action here it just obliterates this is on the fastest RPM here but it just obliterates the seat and it's kind of hard to hold one-handed I do get on it a little bit later double-handed pressing down but right now uh, this thing's a little beast and hard to keep in place one-handed which is a good sign So now we're doing the flat wide, but you can see it doesn't get the corners. It's just going to get the surface area, and it's not going to get down in between the tile and the grout areas either. As you can see, we're using a little bit of that upside down action, which you can get with that head, being able to put it in the perfect position to get the work done. But for us, thank goodness they do include a large, wide, round brush. But here's the pointy brush. Uh, it's called the pointy brush, and it will get right in there and eat right into those corners and crevices, nooks and crannies. And I was pretty surprised at how discolored the grout was and then how good it looked after this. So kudos on the pointy brush. Now we got, whew, we got to the round, wide brush. Now this thing with a lot of pressure and stuff on the floor, we'll get in there and just destroy that discolored grout and really pump that bleach foam right in there and bring it out the way it should be. And up on the wall too, because I do have large tiles on the wall. And here I'm putting on that pressure. You can see a little bend in the extension pole. I'm really pressing down really hard to get in there and it's uh, doing it. It's not uh, bogging down at all getting in there the round brush heads actually getting around up underneath the wall of the tile there too um, doing a good job can't complain
When I'm done, I rinse off each brush head, but I take this opportunity with a cleaning solution on it to go ahead and tackle the sink with that leftover solution that's on there. I'm cleaning off the head and I'm cleaning out the sink. And it does do a good job, the round one, of getting that sink. Popping it off is easy and putting one on is just as easy. And there you go, before and afters. Looks clean, right? It is! And I got a kudos, good job, way to go from the wife. Looks good. Here's a set of photos so that we can see the before and after. Mess equals hallelujah on the right. What the world on the left to, uh, hey, look at that on the right. Uh, this is the whole product line here with everything that you get. It's a good, so make sure to explode on that subscribe button and ding that dong so that you get notified on the next product review that I got coming that this is good. I suggest you go get it. See ya.